Hello and welcome back to Yukumo Village. So here, um, Rakuhara is sitting in the hot springs getting ready for her next big encounter. I'm MH Geek and welcome back to the series. So I'm basically going to be getting ready to fight um, Zenoga. Ooh. Okay, and uh, yeah, just choosing some of these drinks that I should get in order to face the against to face against him. So yes. Feline, yep, feline attack up and feline riser are definitely what I need. So, right now, I've prepared potions, pain ball, dung bombs. Um, dung bombs is in case he tries and fist on me and I don't manage to dodge out of it. So yeah, when when you're in that situation, a dung bomb should get you out of it instantaneously, and a pitfall trap just to take, just to make my life a little bit easier. The power coatings, close range coatings, poison coatings, and paralyzed coatings for good measure. And, well, some gathering tools in case we do have the chance and opportunity to gather, why not? So let's see how far can we go. I mean, how badly... How, how much we're gonna get trashed. Thrashed, I mean, I mean, I don't know, it, it really depends. Well, so, this time we're gonna fight Zenoga for, for real. Like, it's, um, it's all planned, it's not a... Oh, it was a pitfall trap as well. Cool. I don't mind. More pitfall traps. Oh, didn't need the wet stones, but never mind. <laughs> so, gonna just um, throw these ones away because they they may hog up my inventory space. Like, it takes an extra scroll to get to what I want to, which could be a problem at times. So I believe he should be at um, area 5 or 6. And let me just quickly put on this poison coatings. No, no, Jaggy, please. Stop it, Jaggy. You too, Jaggy. Yeah. Be nice. Play nicely. Cats, come on, let's go. Just signaling them for them to come. Although they should actually automatically follow you when you enter a new map. So he's not here right now. I guess he might be at 5. Either that or 7. I got a feeling it's going to be 5 though, because that's where we first met him, remember? Yeah, so let's just take a look. Oh, he's not here. Could it be 7? Wow, dang. Erex is still facing off against the Jaggi. Slash Jagia. He's really, really hard on about <laughs> taking them on. Oh, so he's here. Alrighty. So as you can see, there's a... Thunderbox, those green glowing ones instead of the yellow ones. So yep. As in it's a uh, there's no difference when you capture them by default as in in the gathering point, but this is uh unique to Zeno to Zenoga. Whoa gosh, there was a, a slight lag there, I apologize. And yes. And it actually this is unfair. How how why is he starting at like full charge and you know Damn, this is just not fair. <laughs> Why, man? Why? <laughs> well, in any case, um, there we go. Go, go away, Gagua. I don't want. Oh, shot! I shot the gun. Nope. He's gonna roar. And damn, he interrupted the the horn blowing of uh one of my felines. Oh my gosh, that was close. Barely got out of the way of that. Okay, just gonna quickly damage him as. Oh my god. Oh, he's going for Irex. Not for me. Three slam. I'm gonna try and break his uh, front claws and his nope and his horn because um, I I can I definitely am not able to break I mean uh, cut off his tail because I'm a bow user. I mean it's not it's not impossible but it's just too much effort and it's way too troublesome. I just shot him up the butt though I don't know why. Nope. Okay. So just gonna keep the oh my gosh he's doing the tail sweep. Yeah this is his uh one of his strongest moves, although not exactly his signature move, so... Oh, he's... is he... Oh, 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 no, no! Wow, I managed to get through that. Okay. No! Oh my gosh, I'm at, stuck in the map corner! Oh my gosh, that was so close. That was so close. Not... Oh, again? Again? Seriously? No. Just no, stop, stop, stop that, stop that. I need, I need stamina to charge my bow. <laughs> Alright. Gonna just, um... He's doing a taunting roar. 
Not sure for what. Is he gonna follow up? Yep, he's gonna follow up with a tail slam. That thing is honestly very, very cool though. Like, backflip into the tail slam. I'm not sure if I hit that, I totally out of screen, but um. So yeah, as I said before, I find that this guy is like the personification of pride as pictured by Capcom, so the pride walk and all the very, very I will squish you like a bug moves like that tail slam and it's a triple oh my gosh, not this ah, I got that, got up, ouch, ouch yeah, and very, very stylish moves that uh, to some extent unnecessary and that's completely off, but um, sure, why not Okay, he's gonna do the sweep again. Just gonna rain some arrows down upon his head because why not? Oh, I broke him out of that um, fully charged state with that. That's so that that's a thing. Oh gosh. So when he's not fully charged, he cannot shoot as many lightning bolts. So that's always a nice thing. Nice thing to note. No! Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was lucky. I managed to dodge dodge through that. Not sure about this. Okay, this is fine as well. Oh my gosh. Ah, that was not a very good hit. Okay, is he taunting? Yeah, he is. Trying to break his face and the. Oh, what, what, what are you doing here? Okay. You're gonna have to um, lay down a trap soon. Well, alright. Since he's charging, I'm just gonna lay down a trap. Right here. Coat the power. Oh, no. is, is he leaving? No, 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 no. Don't, no, 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 no. Oh gosh, why you? I hate you. I hate you, Zenoga. I hate you. Damn it, what a waste of a trap. Unless I can chase him back here before it expires, and I can place another because I already have one active in this map. Oh gosh, I hate you, Zenoga. No, oh my gosh, and oh my god, the Bufango. Bufango, please, please. Once again, MVP goes to Bufango. Ah. <sighs> Oof. That's close. And uh, please ignore my dog barking in the background. I have no idea why. <laughs> There's probably like some um, someone outside the door or something. Like, mm, yeah, my dog's really quite sensitive to external noises. Like when someone, when my neighbor opens their door and things like that. So, uh, she's she's just highly territorial for no apparent reason. Alright, just gonna... Uh, I, I, I want... Okay, okay, if you stay there and taunt, fine. I'll rain arrows down on your back. Okay, I, I can't really have a good angle on you, so... Yeah, this is gonna have to suffice. No, Bufango, stop, stop! Oh gosh, the Bufango. Oh my gosh. He has two charges now. Oh, he's, he got paralyzed, yes! Okay, you can remove the paracoding, save the rest. Just gonna quickly shoot right in his face and hopefully break his horns. Oh wow, that's fast. Oh, I think I broke um, f half of it. I can break it one more time before it's. I have to break it one more time before it's fully broken. Ow! Oh, Bufango, stop! Man, this Bufango are already making it much harder uh, than it should be. Okay, is he gonna go and charge again? Oh nope, he's gonna do that body attack. Gonna rain more arrows down and say, ah, Bufango! Oh my god! <laughs> Girliest scream ever. I'm sorry. I was caught by surprise there, really. Oof! Okay, my cats are not around, so he will be focusing. Oh no, he's gonna charge again. This is not very nice. Oh boy. Trying very. Oh! Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Some, for some reason, that didn't hit me, but um, I'll take that. One. To shoot hit. Oh, I missed. Never mind. At least I didn't waste a coating for that. Um, stop taunting. Can you face me so I can. Never mind. I don't want your tail. I can cut it off anyways. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Nope. Oh gosh. That was so close. The timing on those things. Oh my gosh. It, oh, is he? I, I can't see. Oh! My god. The Bufango. Seriously. Seriously? Bufango? Why? At, le at least now you're dead, you deserved it. <laughs> Annoying pieces of shite. Yes, broke his horn. Ah, oh, okay. All oh, the lightning bolts. No! Oh, ouch, ouch, I should have rolled the other way. Oh. 
Okay, this is bad. I'm uh, lightning blighted, I can't take too many more hits. Just gonna stay away from him for a bit. My cat is um, stunned, which is not very good. He's, he's just trying to chase me down. I'm just gonna wait for him to shift focus or taunt like that and then heal up. Because uh, that's the safest way to do things. I guess he's gonna attack. Is he gonna chain? Is he gonna chain? Nope, he's not. Okay, he's. Yeah, he is. He's coming after me. Alright. Take the turns to quickly heal up. And okay, he's coming again. One, two, and three. Turn around and fire back at him. Okay, he's going away. Just gonna quickly put on this. Oh my god, poor cat. Three. Ah, forget it. I just. Okay. Nope! I really want to break his arms. I can't remember why, but I mean, just because it's breakable, I just want to break it, I guess. Oh gosh. Yes, finally, a buff. Nice, attack buff. That would be helpful. Oh gosh, uh, oh shit, I may get enraged. Ah. Crap! Okay, um, that's not good! He's gonna move like super fast now, and yep, he will do that. Which is another of a very sickeningly powerful move that one shotted me the last time I faced against him. That tail sweep, which is also very deadly. Oh, one more part of him that I can. Oh my gosh! That I can break is his back! Oh my gosh, that was so close! Like, in between, I have to, like, you know, try and. Oh! Okay, he's gonna come around. Yep, nope, nope, just nope. I don't even. I don't even have enough stamina to. You know. Oh my gosh. Oh. This chain of attacks, man. They're relentless. And the Bufangos, what are you doing? I thought you were already dead. Go, go back to being dead, please. Oh my gosh. Uh, there we go again. Okay, this gives me some time to... Oh my gosh, a Bufango! Okay, at least I got him out of his charge. So that's good. He dropped the shiny right there. I would like to get it. He's gonna just slam the squish a butt thing move. Oh, he's fatigued, at least. Okay, gonna aim for your arms now. No, Bufango! Get out of the way! Okay, that was cool. That was close. Okay, he's gonna do a lightning ball. Alright, nothing, no big deal. Just gonna... Oh. Okay, he's running away? Yep, he's running away. Phew! Just gonna pick up the shiny first. Why even tear? Alright, I need, I need to heal up a little bit. Um, and have the ra ration as well because... Damn, all those, all those chain attacks, man. And Bufango, please, stop, stop. You're not helping at all. <laughs> Annoying. Uh, okay, okay. Now, I wonder how long this fight is going to be because... Um, oh, it's already been about 10 minutes. Uh, because this is supposed to be like one star higher than normal, as all urgent quests are. Like, the urgent quest for two stars would mean that you're fighting a three star monster, and urgent quest for three star would mean you're fighting a four star monster. Okay, there's the eating move, and nope, I'm out of the way. Oh my gosh, are your arms really not going to break? Oh, he's gonna try and eat my cats, but not like that's gonna work. Okay, I'm gonna have to pull out the power coding soon. Oh my gosh. Nope. You're not squishing me anytime. Not today. Okay, come on. Is Seriously, when are, your when are your arm braces going to break? Tell me, please. Oh my gosh. Fine, I'll break your back if that's what you want. There you go. I mean, it's not broken, but at least I interrupted his charging. Whoa, wh where are you aiming at, bro? <laughs> where are you aiming? <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's quite awkward. Oh, he's limping. I don't think I can hit him with this, but... uh Oh, well, maybe the tip of his tail. Meh. Still, it's kind of sad I didn't get to actually use the pitfall trap. I mean, I still have one more, but since it's really limping, I don't wish to waste it. Oh gosh. Okay, oh my gosh, I need to eat the ration again. Cut. Oh. Body slam. Nice one. Oh. Uh, I don't know why I aimed so high. I was actually thinking of uh, trying to hit his back, but I realized that that was actually a very terrible angle to do it at. <laughs> He's probably gonna go charge. Yeah, I knew it. I knew he's gonna charge. Predictable, Jinoga. You're too predictable. It's 
gonna come for the slams, the hand slams, yep, two times. And his arms are really not going to break, are they? Oh my goodness. Probably need a rapid bow for this. Nope! Oh, apparently that move um, also applies wind pressure, so you have to dodge pretty far out of its way if you want to really not get hit by the wind pressure. Oh my gosh, it's full charged again. Oh, never mind! He hit that volley to the face, and that was it. Goodbye. Phew! That was pretty imp Oh my gosh, a Zenogre plate! Sweet! Wow, that's like the rarest drop. A uh, rarest drop, rarest carve of uh, the, the Zenogre. Nice! And on the very first carve. Sweet, damn, awesome. Cool, Co cool! Woohoo! Just gonna mine here in the meantime. <laughs> wow. Sweet man, that that's that's awesome. And look look at that majestic creature now. Yeah, so the Janoga is um one of my favorite monsters as well, just because of the fact that it um it it has this really strong personality. Like I like I like Baryov because um Baryov is really really cool. It's move sets, it's um the way it looks. Jinoga looks doesn't look half bad as well. It's, it's really cool looking as well. But what strikes out most to me about Jinoga is is the personality, that that prideful feeling that it has and that it carries with it, that that air. So yeah. And not to mention that its sets look pretty damn decent as well. Pretty damn good. So here we go, take the rewards, um some Jinoga stuff. Okay. Electric Hull, yep. Alright, I'll like to save the game, thank you very much. And let's see what people have to say to Oh alright, maybe not people have to say, but there's this very amazing cutscene. More people coming to Yukumo Village. The quality isn't very good, apparently. I'm so sorry, it's I think it's gonna look even shittier on YouTube. <laughs> or oh, Yeah. So yay, a celebratory dance and all that stuff because Jinoga is no longer around. So basically, if um, if you had yet to realize, oh wait, isn't that, isn't that like Cha Cha or something from Monster Under Three U? Um, right? Okay. Okay. Anyway, uh, <coughs> back to the main thing that I wanted to say is that um, much of oh wait, wait, hold on, those some of those cute moms are like from the other villages. Yeah. Okay, uh, back- oh my god, I'm getting distracted so easily. <laughs> oh, the poogies! Oh my god, so cute! All the costumes! Alright, anyways, um, if you had yet to notice, all- this- this particular scene and most of Monster Hunter in the- in the villages, they are- they are very much, um, inspired- not inspired, but they are modeled after their own Japanese culture. So, this is very much like the, um, uh, Oh, isn't that the guild mom from freaking Monster Hunter for you? Wow. Okay, that's that's new. But um, did wow? Did they have this all planned like way before the release of three U and four U? Holy shikes! I just got a little mind blown there. And other guild moms <laughs> and the housekeepers whatnot. So as I was saying, um, this is modeled of. Oh my gosh, that's the that's the Afro dude. The Afro dude from like that provides a quest line in for you as well. Okay, so this is essentially a very um what what do they call it? Summer festival, yeah, summer festival kind of feeling in uh Japan. Oh my gosh! Please don't blow up cats. Ouch! <laughs> Lol. Yeah, but anyway, that entire festival there was really very similar to how it really is in. Japan itself. I've been to a couple and uh, the feeling is pretty damn nice. Like it's summer, it's really warm and then there's great there's really great amounts of uh, food around. People in Yukatas. Um, Yukata is basically like a, a summer version of the kimono where it's really much thinner, there are lesser layers to it. And uh, yeah, walking around, enjoying themselves, having a good time, eating, uh, drinking and uh, going out with their friends. And it's a good time for for you know, social gatherings, gatherings, and things like things like that. 
Yep. And basically, this is a very, uh, very cute credit scene to thank you for playing Monster Hunter Portable Third thus far. Um, introducing to you, like, showcasing to you what you have been through thus far, which is uh, taking down the big blue bear first, and then, you know, being introduced to the village, etc., etc. Yeah. Ooh, interesting. Well, it's been a long time since I've seen this cutscene. The music is pretty sweet. Kelby's in the background. Oh, and the Rathalos. Actually, come to think about it, I haven't faced the Rathalos just yet. Interesting. Okay. That's good to know. Yeah. I'm just gonna let this, you know, play in the background and, uh... I'm just gonna, you know... I think this is Moga Village? I'm not sure. I'll be commenting here and there, I mean... After all, that's that's the fun of this, right? Oh, that's uh, doing some <laughs> egg delivery quests. And there's the elder, the village elder in the background there as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, they have taken down a Rathian, it seems. Sweet. Oh, that guy's using a hunting horn. Seems like it. The one sitting on the the back of the, that thing. Yeah. And oh, the feline cat lady with the huge, humongous basket of hers, which is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> and this is the... I can't remember what's the name of this village, but I think it's the... front, The one from Frontier? No, not Frontier. I don't know, I, I can't remember the name. But it's the one before... Um, before Moga Village, I guess. And this one is a just a volcanic region, I suppose. Oh, and there goes a, a hunter on a cart. <laughs> R.I.P. So... Milang's in the background. I like this art style. It's kind of simplistic, pixelated, but it's cute. And this, this is Dur Durondoma, I think. Yeah, this is Durondoma. Oh yeah, I remember now. This, this, this place, which appeared in Four U as well, also appeared in an earlier game. So technically, technically they recycled it. I guess. I think. I suppose. Um, I didn't play all of it, so... I only started from this, so yeah, this is my knowledge, really. This is this is all that I know, and wow, this is one huge Tigrex. So I apologize if there's so much missing information and things that I do not know, but you know, there's only so much time that anyone can spend playing games. <laughs> Especially when you're not paid to do so. So... Yeah. Chefs, ooh, cooking. Wait, is this Moga Village? I think this is Moga Village. Then what were the previous ones? Oh dear. Oh my gosh. Oh, it can swim, it's fine. As in, it can float on the barrel. There's a Ludroth in the background, and there's Cha Cha right there. I wonder what. Oh, is that an invitation to, like, I don't know, the hot springs or something? And, uh, this. This might be. This looks like the fishing village of 3U. Yeah, it does. Did they already release Monster Hunter 3G when Portable came out? Hmm. I don't know, but. It could be that they planned this all out a long time ago. Oh, and this is like the desert uh, hunting which. We would go for it soon in this game as well, where you'll be taking down the Gen Moran, and he and his uh, freaking huge size, yeah, huge tusks and all that stuff. It's, it's kind of a, I must say it's not the most interesting fight, but um, it's epic. It's epic. Like taking it down once is is an epic thing to do, and uh, yeah, and woo. Fall down and uh, in the night, Gagwas. Oh, this music. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Oh, speaking of music, if um, if you like the OST of Monster Hunter a lot, do go and uh, participate in Gaijin Hunters 
90,000 subscriber giveaway where he's giving away Monster Hunter Cross um, original soundtrack CD as well as a I think a 3DS cover or something like that so yeah go ahead and participate in it if you like if you like to have have a chance of getting one of those and uh, here we are back at Yukumo Village we basically traveled around the entire world of Monster Hunter thus far I guess there are some areas that are not inside here because um, well they haven't been made yet and there we go thank you for playing with the fireworks ending Whew. so basically um yeah why are we back here Capcom I hope I hope I I say it's my game right yeah all right now loading so basically uh, as with every other monster in the game when you defeat the flagship monster officially for the first time there will be this uh, special cutscene and yep that's all the time we have for today I'm afraid we can't do all the talking to all the people until the next episode so thank you all for watching so if you like leave a comment subscribe um, like the video as well do all the socials and thank you very much for watching for like the third time I said it I think and we'll see you again. Image Geek, signing out.